Step one is to prime and base coat your item. Um, I primed it using Kimple's primer and then I base coated it in a cream acrylic. I'm going to start on the inside area. I'm going to antique the horse, the donkey, and the fence in Kimple's ebony, ebony color. Then I'm going to antique um, the background bricks and the side, um, the window areas in the ebony, and the chicken and the fence. There's another window over here. Those will be done in ebony and the rest will be done in Kimple's Walnut. So again, um, it's painted in Kimple's uh, Walnut and then the animals are in Kimple's Ebony. With the Kimple colors, it's not the painting. That you just want to put on full strength. Really what you want to just do is make sure all the white is covered up. It's really in the pulling back process that you're really going to get the beautifulness of the colors. So I'm just going to use a cotton rag. I love to use underwear. Uh, children's underwear is my preference just because of the size. I love the size and underwear has the perfect thickness. So just start pulling this back. So this is what it looks like pulled back and I want this back wall to be brightened up so I'm going to go over it with Kimple's Sunshine. Again you apply it full strength. I also went over the fence with Kimple's Topaz. I love this color. It'll warm it up in a, just a nice soft way. You just take it, brush it on, kind of brush it on at an angle like you're scraping a peanut butter jar. So kind of a strong angle. Don't need to be too careful with it. Just rub it on. And again with the Kimple colors, it's when you pull it back that creates the beautiful effects. So I painted the sunshine yellow on the back wall and up here because I kind of want to create um, an effect where the sun is shining through or it's glowing. And then like I said, the Kimple Topaz on here just to give it a real uh, nice warm softness to it. So again, using your rag, you just start rubbing it back. And it's going to leave the brown there it just war it warms it up really nice and it'll kind of brighten it up too a little bit and then for the yellow since it's in a hard to reach area I'm going to switch over to a q-tip when I'm pulling back just go over those areas and it'll really it'll brighten up those areas but yet leave the brown underneath. So I'm going to work this area. So Kimple's Yellow really brightened it up, uh, those back falls, and then again um, did Kimple's Topaz and all these areas here and again just created a really warm color. I love Kimple colors. They're really easy to work with and they create beautiful effects. For the rooster, I'm going to apply some Kimple Ruby to him and then for the hens, I'm going to apply uh, Kimple's Angel Flesh to those and it'll warm those up. And just apply with a brush full strength. Actually for the chicken, um, I found that the ruby 
It's the one time where you apply it and rub back. Doesn't quite work. So it won't hurt anything to do it. it you just might find that um, the colors will, it'll just really dull it. So a better technique after antiquing it with the brown is, this is a small area, so I'm going to use a Q-tip. Q-tip, you could also use a brush. Kind of rouge it, I guess is the technique. I'm just going to start going over it and just keep brushing it and applying more until you get the effect that you want. So I'm going to work that area. For the rooster, um, I ended up doing red and green and blue. You know, just uh, make it what you want. Have fun with it. Again, the Kimple colors are really easy to use. Um, for the hands, I did the angel flesh, a little bit of red on their um, tops and beaks. Um, so yeah, like I said, just have fun with it. Uh, for the horse, I'm going to go back over it in Kimple's Brown, uh, Kimple's Walnut. It's painted on full strength. Using your rag, start wiping back. And just work the area until you get the look that you want. This is what the horse looks like pulled back. For the um, star, I used Kimple's angel flesh and then pulled it back to create um, the star and stripe on the um, horse's face and then painted the eye black with a little white dot. For the don donkey, I'm going to go over it in Kimple's um, mushroom color. And then as always with Kimple, uh, painted on full strength. Then using your uh, rag, start gently rubbing it back, maybe in a circular motion. You could also use a Q-tip. So then work this until you get the effect that you want. So this is what the inside of the barn looks like at this point. It's done. Uh, just like before, for the top, paint it full strength in the Kimple Walnut, and then using your rag, start pulling back. I'm going to finish off camera. I decided to go over the brick front and the fence in Kimple's Amber because uh, I want to distinguish, slightly distinguish between this area and the straw uh, roof. And I want the straw roof to be in the topaz because it creates a really pretty soft yellow. So paint it on full strength, kind of at that angle where like you're scraping a peanut butter jar. Let's go over it full strength. Start pulling it back with a rag. Next, using Kimple's White, go over the ribbon 
and the doves. This is what it looks like pulled back. I want it to be a little bit whiter, so I have some of the Kimple white, and another technique with Kimple is to rouge it, and that's just lightly going over it, and it'll apply the color in a real soft way. So this is what it looks like, um, going back over it with white and then I painted in the letters with a black acrylic. And because I like gold leaf, um, I'm going to put a little bit of gold leaf on and it, this is just um, from my craft store and it's gold leaf flakes. First using, this is a just a satin varnish. Get the places that you want wet basically or sticky. And then just using your fingers, stick it on. Using a soft, dry brush, I'll just gently brush off the excess. So this is what the finished stable looks like. And I love the look of gold leaf, just the randomness of it. The base was sun done in the same technique, Kimple's Walnut first, pulled back, and then Kimple's Amber um, on top of it, just like the straw roof. For the accessory pieces, uh, for the sheep, I'm going to coat that in Kimple's Ebony. And then all the other items, I'm going to start with Kimple's Walnut and paint them full strength and then pull them back. This is what it looks like pulled back. Um, I'm going to put, paint it in Kimple's White, which I kind of already did on the back of it. Paint it full strength, just go over the entire piece in Kimple's White. Next, start wiping back. And as you wipe back, it's going to create a nice, soft, white look. With Kimple's Angel Flesh, go over the face. Then wipe back and it'll warm it up really nice. This is what the sheep looks like, all done. Um, for the baby Jesus, I'm going to paint the baby's blanket in white and then pull it back. And as you pull it back, it's going to um, leave a nice soft white. And I finished it in gold leaf and used black to highlight the sleeping eyes and angel flesh on the face and then a little bit of Kimple's amber on the straw and that was it. 
on the geese this is what it looks like and Kimple's walnut pulled back you could leave it like this if you wanted to um, I did over this I did uh, Kimple sunshine first Kimple's yellow and then over that white pulled it back and then over that did white and pulled it back and just kind of create a real soft um, look to it orange on the beaks and the little rabbit this is what it looks like with the walnut pulled back and again you could leave it like this or you could um, do some white on the belly and the tail a little bit of pink on the in the ears if you want uh, a little bit of pink on the nose black eyes with a little white dot whatever you feel like so this is the finished item and um, I hope you enjoyed this video and happy painting to you